We do a lot of crazy things. So I'm all about being creative with my son over like watching a movie or doing electronics. So we love to color. We love to design and create our own books. One of the one fun things that me and my son do a lot is we design and make our own books just on white printer paper and then I'll staple it and turn it into a book. And we have hundreds of those. We've been doing that since he was in kindergarten. We do a lot of puzzles. We do a lot of reading together. Um, we read every morning and every night. He like He's into like, he's seven, but he's into huge like Harry Potter chapter books. It's kind of crazy because here's the thing. My son is seven, but it's like talking to an adult. <laughs> So my son is, some of the things that come out of his mouth, like I remember a very, I'll never forget this moment. I was having a really bad day, pretty much in tears. And my son, he was last year, my son comes over to me, puts his hand on me. He goes, mom, sometimes you just have to worry about yourself and not other people. Like him grasping those concepts and like, and comforting me in that way. So my son is more so than I think a lot of other children. Um, for example, one of his teachers for one of his school reviews wrote on the piece of paper, her comment was, your son is always hugging and comforting kids before himself. He's always asking, how are you feeling today? I love that she said that because we talk a lot about feelings in our home. But he always asks, how are you feeling today? Or, you know, giving hugs and making sure everyone around him is happy and is cared for and feels loved. That's a really good question. Um, my ex-husband has that type of heart, and I guess so do I. It's just really in our personalities. Um, I always try to, to be that example for my son. I think that the way that we treat other people, especially with my son watching everything that I do, really does play a huge role. Um, so I think it's a mixture of things. So don't get me wrong, my son loves electronics. Uh, he, so for Christmas, I bought him a little Amazon Fire tablet and he is all about the Minecraft. Uh, right now he's begging, begging me to play Fortnite, but I told him that's not happening until he's 18. <laughs> um, but he also, he loves to build forts. He has the type of mind where he loves to take things apart and then put them back together. So sometimes I'll be going into his room. I think that's why he loves Lego so much. He's a big Lego kid. Um, he gets one of those little Lego sets in the box and he can literally put it together in a couple of minutes. It's outstanding. Um, but sometimes I'll go into his room and you can see him. He's like just looking at things and you can tell in his mind he's looking at how things operate. Um, so he's, he's very much that type of kid. My son, he is small for his age. Even though he was born a big baby, he was born almost nine pounds. Now he is really small for his age, but he's on his fourth year of wrestling. Um, he's only seven, so he's been doing that for quite a while. I, I've become quite the wrestling mom. Um, but he also asked to do parkour this year, which I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> And I don't even know where he saw that or like if he heard it from a friend or whatnot, but he wants to do parkour. But when I asked him like, James, what do you like, what sport are you really looking forward to playing when you get older? What really excites you? He told me tennis. Um, I don't know. I'm believing he's talking to his friends and getting that idea because I've never seen him t to do tennis. I know he's done some baseball. He likes to go out and swing the bat and play catch with Christopher tennis so he does do extra sports we'll see which one he ends up actually sticking with <laughs> oh my gosh my son is my biggest fan so for one of our little photo shoots a couple years ago i made him a shirt that says my mom is the budget mom and it had a little logo Probably for like three months straight, he wore that shirt every day to school and he would walk up and down the halls. And when I went in for a parent teacher conference, his teacher said, oh yeah, all the teachers are following you now because your son walks up and down the hall and says, make sure you follow TBM family. And it made me so proud. It made me feel so proud as his mom and the fact that he, as he's getting older, is really grasping our mission here at The Budget Mom and what we're truly doing to help change people's lives, 
Um, he is definitely my number one fan, for sure. <laughs> That's a great question. Oh, I get a lot of readers who ask me, what can I do to teach my kids about money management or finances? But what they won't realize is that we are doing it in our everyday lives, even when we don't think we are. Um, so my son has learned so much tremendously just by watching what I'm doing. It's those questions like, after we get done going to the park, he'll ask mom, how much money do you have in our fun envelope? Can we stop and get ice cream? That's a huge concept for a seven year old to grab. Recently, last year, at the end of last year, he saved for nine months to buy his Nintendo Switch. Every quarter, every dollar of his allowance, he saved on his own to buy his Nintendo Switch. The discipline to do that as a seven year old is huge because every time we go to Walmart, we go to the store, he'll say, I want this. And he'll say, well, you have to bring your piggy bank. And he said, well, then I can't get my Nintendo Switch. In his mind, he's already doing the trade-offs and the concepts of savings. He gets to understand what money management looks like in a healthy way in our lives by, you know, I involve my son in everything. I am very open and honest with finances with him. He helps me color in my savings trackers. He helps me stuff my cash envelopes. So even though it's not a conscious effort where I'm sitting down every day and thinking to myself, what can I do today to teach my son about finances? I'm already doing it because I practice what I preach and we're doing it in our everyday lives. Well, it's really important to learn finances and money management at an early age because the older you get, it's harder to break those bad habits when you're an adult because you've been doing and you establish them for so long. I wish that I had a lot of the financial habits that I have now as an adult at an earlier age. With my son, it's really extremely important that he develops those good habits so he's not trying to break the bad habits and have it be really hard for him as he gets to be an adult. Yeah, so for me, education is really, really important. Um, and when I say education, I don't necessarily mean like a four-year degree. I'm saying any type of education, whether it be a four-year degree or a technical school. But just because I wanted to go to college, I understand that my son might not want to. And I am not going, I am not the type of mom that's going to force my son to go to college, a four-year college, if he doesn't want to. Look, if he looks, if he comes to me and says, Mom, I want to pursue being an electrician and I just want to do the journeyman program, the two-year program. I'm like all, all for it. You know, in fact, those are the people we need right now um, as far as the job market. But I'm more concerned about my son pursuing what he's passionate about. And whatever route that takes him on, I want to make sure I'm the number one person that's there to support him. Because out of anybody in the world, I know how important that support is when you are trying to pursue something that a lot of people don't, it, you know, thinks is crazy. Um, I did it with the budget mom and I had a lot of that pushback when I first started this journey. So I think education is important, but I'll support him in whatever he decides to do. When I started the budget mom, I had to make a decision on how I wanted to have James be shown to the rest of the world and, and privacy wise, what that would look like for me as a mom and, and security for him. I am not like some of the, you know, the, the influencers out there where showing their children is an everyday thing that they do. I share my son um, to remind people that he's still in part of my story, but he's not shown regularly just because as a mom I do get afraid sometimes there are a lot of people now who know who I am especially here in Spokane locally and as a mom you just constantly have to think about your privacy and security in a different way I admire a lot about my son um, even at seven there are a lot of things about him that I can already tell I can tell he's strong, um, strong-willed. I can tell he definitely takes after my personality of being really, really passionate about things. But I think I admire him the most, his caring heart. And I, I 
hope to God as a mom, he never loses that. I hope that's something that he carries forever. He is just really mature in the way that he thinks about the people that are surrounding him and he really puts an effort to put those people's feelings above his own, which is huge. Even as an adult, people struggle to do that. So at seven years old, for, for that to be a real noticeable thing about him is remarkable.